Okay, Dunk. Anthony Edwards. Okay. Okay, that that's a nice one. That's a real nice one. What's the cereal at? Hey, what's up, Box of One World? Thank you for joining us for another episode. We're gonna be doing something a little bit different from what we normally do. We're gonna be opening some NBA Top Shot packs. Nobody's actually asked for this content. Um, we just had some extra packs. So decided to bring a friend on. We're gonna open it and see what we get. I have my friend here, Osama Salik. How's it How going? How you doing? Good, good. Not too bad. Thanks for coming on, uh, sharing sharing the moment with us. But let's, let's see what we get. So my pack is just a regular base set pack. We'll open that first. I can't remember how many moments. I think it might be might be five, might be three. I can't remember. And then Osama has the uh, Cool Cats drop. So let's just go right into the pack. We're going to open it, see what we get, see if we get anything interesting. All right. So we're going to jump into the first one. I'm going to add our faces back in just to to get some reactions here. I don't, Honestly, I'm, I'm not expecting anything from this because this is such a just a whatever drop that, you know, let, let's just see what we get with the first one. Watanabe, let's go. Well, okay. not bad, hero. Not bad, yeah. Uh, serial numbers, it's, it's pretty high up there. So 23, 534. Oh, okay, okay. 543, but I mean, it, it, it's, a, it's a whatever one. I, I always like to get dunks, blocks. Those are always the more interesting ones. I'll, t I'll take no. a Tyler Hero layup. I don't know what this is worth right now. Uh, they, I don't really they didn't win that game either. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't think that takes anything away from it. I don't, I don't think I, it was a great moment. <laughs> Probably not. It was probably like a nothing moment, but let's let's see the next one. Okay, dunk. Anthony Edwards. Okay. Okay, that that's a nice one. That's a real nice one. What's the cereal at? Ten thousand. Ten thousand six eighty nine. I'll take you. This is a this oh, is man. a good one. Like I said, I, I yeah. like dunks. I was actually gonna buy this one. Um, you remember when the marketplace was shut down a little while ago when you were trying to get in in on this? Yeah. Yeah, so I was trying to buy this one. I think it was on for like 10, 20 bucks. Uh, I'll take it. And it's got it's got a couple of badges. So they just recently introduced the badges on these. So this, this one was minted up. during their rookie season. And Okay. I didn't know about that. Yeah, that that's that's super recent. So that that's cool because it'll kind of add value to some of the uh to some of the moments that already exist. For sure. Joker, okay. That's not oh, bad. Uh, 18,000. Like, I think if I tried to sell these, I'm probably not getting much for them. Yeah, it's more like you have them. You're probably going to keep them. Exactly. When, when, so when you got into this, was was it like a was it a money thing for you or was it just to kind of get in on the hype? At first, at first I thought about the money thing, but then... Uh, I found this one moment of uh, Fred Van Fleet getting his 52nd point that uh, turnaround layup. So that broke uh, the record, right? So I think that was a cool moment to just own. It was like a few bucks. Why not? And then I, that's one of my ones I'm just going to keep as a collection. But it depends. If I get something really nice and I'm being offered like a thousand bucks for it, why not? We have a friend who got into this strictly for making money, bought a pack and, and like right away threw up like, what was it like a Josh Akogi? Yeah. Threw it up for like 400 bucks or something like that. And his, his, his words were maybe some, some rich dummy is gonna, is, is gonna pay for this, but didn't pan out. Not for Akogi. <laughs> I think the days of making tons of money on some of these things are done. I made 750 on a Giannis moment. Or like this was like a couple months ago, but since then, I told you I bought I bought a Julius Randall All Star moment for two hundred and ninety dollars, and since then, like I've checked the price and it's at like one hundred and fifty, I think, at the lowest. So I'm I'm not making anything off of that, but oh well, it's not my money, it doesn't matter. All right, so let's let's add yours up on here. All right, and let's see what you got. Cool cats pack. We can open this one together too, and we both get it. Yeah, yeah, for for sure, and um. Azam, my my uh, our co-host has a has a pack that he's gonna want to open, so we can probably do three packs. So let, let's see what you got. Okay, five. Yeah. How much did you okay. pay for this? 
This was, I think I paid 15 bucks for this pack. I'm not sure. Start with the first one. Three pointer. Brogdon. Not bad. Oh, it's against the Raptors, too. <laughs> I remember yeah. this. He's, he's the only person um uh, Milwaukee that gave us trouble during the playoffs. Yeah, and, and actually, I mean, getting rid of him kind of changed everything for Milwaukee because without him, didn't want to pay him. Yeah, was which was thing. probably a stupid move when, when you look and, at it. Uh, yeah, now that you gave Drew 40 mil. Ooh, a Raptors one. Is oh, it? the layup. <laughs> 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 so now you got a double. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think this might be a higher serial. 4,500. Nice. That's not okay. bad. That's not bad. Okay. Nurkic. Okay. That's all right. It's okay. All right. <laughs> this is the highest you can jump. Got to give him the credit. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. What's next? A dunk. Okay. RJ. Ooh, some Canadian content. All right, I like this one. Cereal's really high though. Yeah, it, it looks like both of us like with the cereals. We we didn't have much luck, but I think the next one. Oh, that is your cool camp moment. Oh, so that was the big one. All right, so what's this one? Randall. <laughs> That's weak. <laughs> That's that is a such a weak moment. <laughs> oh man. The cereal is halfway through. Sometimes it feels like with some of these moments that they just, they just, you know, they just threw whatever they could find yeah, at the guy just to have, say they have one. But that's a weak one for Julius Randle. That's super weak. It's not even a layup. It was a tip. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the the most like un, like not exciting play that they could have probably picked for him. That's what happens a lot. So like. In the first the first set that I ended up getting, uh, which was like a lot of the moments were from uh, from the bubble, so mm -hmm. it kind of sucks because like they all kind of look the same and it's just like that generic background. I hope that these things get a little bit better as they add you know fans in the background once fans are allowed back in the arena because I think like you know it would be nice if if they started releasing like you know the Dame hitting hitting that game winner and just like waving like that would be yeah. that would be a crazy moment. For sure. Even um, even if they did some throwbacks, like uh, some Kobe moments, I know those would be really sought after and probably would go for like a ton. Yeah, Kobe, like LeBron right now, I think is is the king of like the highest selling moments. But if you throw Kobe in there, that's definitely going for like probably double what some of these LeBron moments are going for. Because I, I like I, I know I wouldn't get one because they'd probably do those uh, one of those legendary drops where it's like a hundred like a thousand bucks. Mm hmm. I'm not getting in on that, but like yeah. people are definitely going to pay for that. For sure. Uh, is this available to people outside of North America? Yeah, as far as, far as I know, it's uh, like it, it's available to anybody. So if there's anybody outside of like Canada and the U.S. watching this, uh, as far as I know, yes. I don't know how the withdrawals work. So I just got approved. I don't know if you've checked. I just got approved to be able to withdraw money from from my account. They make that difficult because... Unless you have a U.S. bank account, I think you're pretty much limited to crypto withdrawals. So you gotta you gotta like do it to a crypto wallet. So I guess if you are gonna do it, just just keep that in mind. But I know, like I know, I've heard of people outside of definitely outside of North America that that have gotten involved in it. And it, like it does seem like lately, I don't know if you've been paying attention or not, but it seems like the the interest is kind of like tapered off a little bit. It was really hot around the All Star break. Mm -hmm. And I, part of that is probably because of how hard it is to get into the into the drops. Yeah, for sure. Like, um, just especially um, one of our friends, he was in the drop. His queue number was within the amount of packs being released, and he still did not get a pack. So imagine just waiting all that time and getting nothing out of it. Kind of going to be like, screw this. Yeah, and, and didn't it happen to you where you were like, I think you were like number 27,000 and somehow you went up instead of going down. Yeah. I don't, I don't even know what happened there, but I don't under, really understand how they're like, you, like I, it's random. I get that, but how random is the question? 
Well, yeah, and if you see, I don't, I don't know if you've seen any of the the pack openings from like some celebrities. Like, I think there's a Kendrick Perkins where he's opening. Like, I didn't actually watch it, but I just like I think he opens it and he pulls something like something super expensive. And I know like they've given a bunch of packs to Diplo, and I've I've watched the like the Diplo opening of those packs. And he's even asking questions like, "Oh, are these guys good this year?" Like, you're giving it to a guy who's like not even really, really a yeah. fan. Uh, and yeah. you know, you know, they're finding a way to add some like some expensive moments in there. Yeah, you give them a little bit extra, right? Yeah, For exactly. The city. I know Terrence Ross is pretty involved in this as well. Like he uh, tried to scoop up his own dunks and everything too. I don't doubt it. I know there was. Like when you when you look at the highest selling like the highest selling um cereal of some of these moments and you see some of the prices that like some of these random guys are going for, it, mm-hmm. it looks like it's gotta be the players buying their own moments for themselves. Probably. And then there's some there like uh apparently if it's your it's their jersey number, they go for more as well. So like if anybody's watching this and wants to like wants us to do a, a more in-depth show on this, we just kind of figured we'd throw something together because we had some packs to open. We'll probably do this again. But if if you want a more in-depth episode on how this works, um, like the ins and outs, we'll, we'll definitely do it. But jersey numbers, uh, number one serial. Also, one thing that I never thought about is the last serial number minted for a specific uh, like a specific moment. So if you know it's at, at a four ninety nine, so one is going to be obviously valuable if it's like you know lebron 23 is going to be valuable but then also number 499 is also going to be valuable because it's the last one uh of that of that specific moment that was minted just yeah it, it's it's crazy how this is taking off i don't know what your reaction was actually tell me what your reaction was when i first told you about this were, were you thinking like this is stupid or <laughs> at first right because i'm just like they can just make stuff or like there's no actual like if I hand you something and I tell you it's valuable, right? You're going to take good care of it, right? But with this, it's just like they took that away and they're like, it's online. Don't worry. It's valuable, right? It's kind of hard to grasp around that because like anyone can make these, right? What if they can be hacked, right? Yeah. Um, there's a lot of stipulations behind it, right? Because like, we're not used to this, but now like I believe this is uh, – what they considered NFT. Yeah, exactly. And uh, it's not just this that is going off for NFT. People are making art as well and uh, selling that. There's one guy I was reading about. He's selling his stuff for millions of dollars. He's just a random artist. He's not even known. He's just selling his stuff like that. Yeah, and I, like the Beeple one went for 63 million, which was like a collection of like, I think it was two years. He would do basically a, a, a work of art every day for like two years or something. And it ended up, it, it was actually pretty cool. So it, like if you ever come across his stuff, um, some of the like the individual works of art that he did, he'll, he'll actually send it to you in a nice box with like a, a digital frame. Um, hmm. And then there's a, 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 a QR code on the corner where you can scan it with your camera and it takes you to the actual like NFT. So it, yeah. it's pretty cool. This I was a little bit like kind of iffy on because it's it's the whole thing with a like let's say a baseball card or a basketball card is you can display it. There's something tangible. If you have a player's autograph, there's something there you can display. You don't really you don't really have that. So I think the part that's missing with this is just having um like having some kind of digital frame where you can like put this up on your wall and maybe show all of your moments. They they do have digital do they? frames. Yeah. Um They've been around for a long time. It's just that they're you're not gonna get a nice screen out of a digital frame because they're but just gonna cut they're gonna cut down on that cost. So the photos don't look as good. But is it gonna be specifically for like I, I know I've seen the ones where you know it just kind of scrolls your pictures over and over. Yeah, you put have- it a USB stick and everything, but uh, I don't know. You could probably make something because I've seen people uh, make a digital mirror actually, where they stick a screen behind a mirror. Yeah, and it's like a full out tablet. Like it tells you the weather, the news, and everything. Um, I'm sure they can implement this in the same purpose where it just rolls through moments. I guess that's that's got to be the missing thing because like you know people are gonna want to show off some of this stuff. If you've paid sixty thousand dollars for a LeBron moment. 
and the only place that you can see it is online or you know other people if they if they check out your account they can see it but it's kind of yeah. it, it, it's kind of missing that like that last little bit but apparently there's a there's a game coming out too um that's kind okay. of attached to this where like i think you use the the moments that you have uh in the game um so that that's a potentially interesting application of this but like you know who who knows where this is going to go like it's it's so new and everybody's kind of just jumping on it because you know everybody's talking about it and you know you'll, you'll even see players or, or hear them on the court you know, like you know saying top shot this which is, is it's kind of cool yeah i guess because it kind of like immortalizes their moment right even though it's a tip in by julius randall <laughs> <laughs> at least he has it i i would i would kill the to have a top shot moment Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Osama, thanks. Thanks a lot for joining us. We're gonna have you back for sure to open uh, open another pack. You know, let, let's let's hope that we have a little bit better luck. Like I think this was pretty underwhelming, to be honest with you. But I think we both kind yeah. of expected that. Yeah, for sure. Let's do this again.